Bobby, what are you doing? Do you want a seat? Hey guys, and welcome to this week's video. Uh, so today, first and foremost, I want to warn you, my daughter is in a mood. Um, she's just very tired, and honestly, these videos make her seem like she is like the worst behaved baby ever. It just so happens that my filming time uh, always sort of ends right around when she's tired, and it's just the only time that I can make. Um, I was just helping her stand up right now. It's the only thing that's stopping her crying. It's okay. Can I let go? There we go. Um, but yeah, so welcome to this week's video. Today we are making some homemade puree baby foods. Um, I don't know if we'll be making one or two, it depends on time because we are running a little short. Um, so <laughs> firstly I wanted uh, to make some beetroot baby food. So we're making some beetroot uh, puree. So I have just got some leftover beetroot from when I made burgers last. There it is. <gasps> What's on? I don't know how long that'll last. Um, <laughs> so basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get the beetroot out of its juice. We don't need its juice. Um, she has never had beetroot before so I don't know how much to make because obviously I don't know how she's going to like it. I think it's going to be a really nice colour though. Beetroot puree. Such a cool colour. I don't know. Uh, basically, my basic recipe for any baby food puree is whatever vegetable or fruit you want. So today, beetroot and then breast milk. Uh, this is a defrosted breast milk uh, because I haven't been pumping for a little bit. I'm just on a little bit of a break. Uh, so I've got breast milk there. Sometimes I'll add a little bit of water um, and then sometimes if it's a really uh, liquidy fruit or vegetable or whatever, I'll add a little bit of this baby rice uh, cereal powder. So basically I bought, this was her first food that she ate was this baby rice cereal and I specifically bought this one because um, it's the same baby food that was like what I first ate and she didn't react well to it, it wasn't, wasn't good with her belly so we just never gave it to her straight again and we just started doing purees. Um, we started, we waited a little bit as well, so we started that at four months, didn't agree with her, we stopped solids and then started again at six months with purees and they've been going really well. Uh, okay, careful. So I have got, uh, there's about 300 mils of breast milk in here, I'm not going to use all of it, I'm just simply going to use about that much. So that wasn't even half, so it was maybe... Oh my god, careful! Careful, careful! Um, and as you can see, these are just going into a Nutribullet. Oh my god, that colour is so good! So screw that on, and I'm going to blend it. Okay, so this is going to be shaky recording. I've got her in my arm slash hand that I'm recording with. Uh, also, these are different ones that I'm going to be making her food. I've made peas and corn with her before. I accidentally bought creamed corn there, so I'm not sure about that one, but we'll see. But anyway, here we go. Blend. And you can see, sort of, you can't really see any lumps in there, so that is good. Uh, let's take a look. So we're going to put this down here. Hang on, I need another hand on. Right. Okay, we're back here. So you saw me blend it. This is the consistency we have now. So you can see it's a bit gluggy, but that's what we want. She's at a stage where we don't want it too watery. There's not really any lumps in there, um, which at her age, it's really, it doesn't overly matter if there's a little lump or not. You're right there. So I'm just gonna scrape this off into there, make sure all of that is in there. We don't want to waste any. Wow. 
okay. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab with a little spoon and pop it into an ice cube tray. So I know you're not on a great angle to be able to see anything of what's going on, but this is, this is what we've gotta do. Now I generally like to fill up the ice cubes and she, at nine months old, eats about two ice cubes worth of food at a time. Ooh. That's weird having that flavor in a puree. Okay, she's losing her shit, but it's fine. So that got us five ice cubes worth which is good um so now i'm just gonna wash that out and then got just about enough time to make another one but i probably won't film it uh so basically i do that with lots of different stuff here are some blueberry ones that i made last week i just popped them out of the tray oh my god okay we're back to the side filming thing um so yeah, these are blueberry ones that I made not long ago, so you can see that. Um, we've made a lot of different ones and I absolutely love it. She's at the stage now where she's starting to do some baby leg weaning. Um, like I posted on my short, we did uh, banana the other day, we're thinking about doing kiwi fruit uh, next week or something, whenever I get to the shops to buy some kiwi fruit. Um, I also wanna make a kiwi fruit puree because she hasn't had that before and I think she would love it. Um, but yeah, so that goes in the freezer and yeah. Awesome. I might just quickly show you what I'm doing here. Broccoli, milk, a little bit more broccoli's kind of thing. I've only got a tiny, tiny bit of milk left there. May end up going in there depending on how, how that goes. She's trying to stand up in the oven. It's not on, but, oh no, she's not. She sort of looked at it. She's gonna start crying again. Let's blend. Okay, and that is the broccoli done. So I'm just gonna freeze those all together. So we've got six broccoli, five, beetroot so that'll get her through for a while we've got um other ones we've done other ones we've done we've done corn we've done peas we've done carrots we did sweet potato but she really didn't like that uh we have done blueberry pear we tried her on banana but i didn't make any to freeze like i haven't done it that way uh there are other fruits you've tried what have you tried apples lots lots and lots like i said i actually really enjoy making these now i have just got like a sip left in here literally um so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that i'm just gonna pop it in the fridge for now it'll probably end up going in her next bath uh but yeah so that is the video oh i might be able to get one more broccoli out of that very important to clean that off but we'll see uh yeah anyway as I said before, actually, I'll just probably put the clip in. I don't know. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love you. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual. I know it's a little bit shorter than usual, but I hope you liked it. And if you want more, let me know because we can make plenty, plenty, plenty more of these types of videos. Um, and yeah, have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. And I will see you next Friday for another video.